Off we go. Need to row our way out. Sing us a song. Hearken well in Hall of Kings. More sails! On ocean steed, my words gain wings. All things me thy forth will bring For noble deeds thine honor sing The brave man slain Valkyria away Reward for strain to fall her pay Then horns resounds the mighty hall For those who fight, for those who fall for those who fight, for those who fall. Warlord weaves his web of fear, each man gets his fate and cheer. A blood red surge, the warrior shield. Ravens scan the battlefield. Ravens scan the battlefield. The beaten blaze, no trail of red. Clothing gaze upon the dead and horns resounds the mighty horn for those who fight, for those who fall, for those who fight and those who fall. May horns resound the mighty horn for we who fight, for we who fall. Drop the mouse! You Salskulls got a story. A story from my youth. This one has no lesson to be learned or message to be gleaned. Master. Often my father liked to take me on hunts in the forested lands east of Arvaldsnes. I loved these solitary times with him. I had never felt a beast myself, and my father saw that this upset me. I was only a boy. But I had the dreams of being a man. So one winter, my father asked me to perform a bargaining ritual to the goddess Skadi to improve his bow skill and snow sight. With glee warming my heart, I cut a hair and sacrificed it to the goddess, asking in exchange of skill and sight for my father. When the ritual was done, my father and I set off into the forest. We hunted all day until night fell, and we slew no game. That night, around the fire, I was sullen. My sacrifice had not been heeded, yet seeing my sad face, my father only smiled. Had you been hunting, he said, you would have killed six fine deer. For Scotty, here's only those who speak to her.
An epic tale. I once sat down and spoke Set to Saxon priest. Not as men with different gods, but as drunk men. Curious? Run I questioned him. He claimed we might believe differently who sits amongst the clouds. But our beliefs are not so different in nature. After all, they too look to the gods for answers. Where we have many, they have just one. <laughs> Only need one, I suppose. So I asked him. Is your god truly so powerful? We see the dark clouds and know Thor's furious at Sinch's Midgard. But I had yet to witness their god's primal powers. What were they? Did he bring bountiful harvests? Boons? The priest said that his god was everywhere and everything. I did not understand it then. Maybe I still do not. There is an undeniable vigor, a strength. Their idea of heaven, leaving the love. All right, back to the story. There is an undeniable vigor, a strength. Their idea of heaven, leaving that their lives will one day be better still, even with us cleaving through it. Hope. Hope. I think that is what their God brings them. <laughs> Sing, my ravens. Let's hear a story. 
You may not know this, but Ragnar Lothbrok once asked me to lead his early assault on England myself. This would have been eight, maybe ten years back. It's hard to say. The winters blow into one another like a great white fog. But I remember as if it were yesterday. Ragnar appeared at my home unannounced. Naturally, I welcomed him. He had traveled a great distance only to see me. and listened as he talked. He was feeling anxious about his journey, leading so many men into such 